But you ain't here about my business. Ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I do not find that very amusing. Alexa, turn off. Now that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it, but make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? But you're making it my business. I have a legal right to collect what's owed to me. No law is being broken here. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Looks like someone's paying ecliptic and paying them good. But don't worry, Shiver, I got you. For 3,000 creds, I can make sure your sheet's as clear as a summer night on Parima. No. No I need to lose your cool. I want to do that. Huh? Have you found any stories? Let's just calm down now. I suppose I could make an exception. So, it's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. If folks might try to take advantage. Mum's the word, bud. Do we have any skill points saved? Persuasion. We need to unlock our last persuasion. Anyway, turns out it wasn't the but this guy was also wanted. That might be our 35th skill point. You better watch it. Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. <laughs> I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. <laughs> okay. Right. Time for me to keep my end at the bar dinner. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up.
close. Well, look who's here to spoil my day. Yeah. A free star ranger and his, what are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. A time or two, maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? So I stole a ship. Nobody got hurt. I didn't even keep the damn thing. It was a contract. I was hired to get it for some men. I don't even know where it is now. It was just a job. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. I, look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I, I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. Oh, but it's about to be that simple. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. Okay. So. Sorry, but I can't. Have a nice life. A free star ranger and his. Well, I'm Start sure you're not. So, how come I'm talking? Uh, this is the dip. Is that so? Anyway, this ain't my first. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I'm guessing. That sound about right? Fine. Yes. I jacked. It was just a quick clean. Oh my god, that works. That's unfortunate. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an ex- I... No! I... I can't be locked up. Look, if I help you, then you have to promise me that you won't put me away. I, I need your word. Ironclad. Bounty hunter. No way I cheat a free star ranger. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. She said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. <laughs> you serious? Take your pick. Money? Reputation? The thrill of it? 
All good reasons. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you, he's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. <laughs> Such a good girl. It's so pretty. Where's the cell phone? Where's our cell phone? This city is so large. It retains a sort of rustic feel. I find it comforting. We'll go get We'll go get a snack here in a little bit. Calm mom. when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, nothing to worry about. We've 
Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Oh, why should I? Nothing but dirt, cold air, and ice are waiting for me out there. I like my nice, cozy, antisocial office space much more, thanks. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Might be hard work, but it sure beats looking good. Coming what did you need? So good. Yes. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from the starship thief? Uh, the first has a money mint, and also Star Citizen is basically a free alpha. It's a bunch of ideas. Many of them. Good work. Not even like Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. When the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. So I need to actually just bring this dude iron? All right. How can I help? Uh, Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. 
so be careful. Good hunting, deputy.